race three, though. He's up the way. Good launch there from Hanson. Kevin Hanson on the middle there. Uh, Timmy on the outside. Keep an eye out for Ericsson. He's trying to go all the way around the outside once again. He's going to do it, surely. He's trying to do it side by side. They come three wide for the lead. This is absolutely brilliant stuff. I think Timmy has just managed to emerge ahead, but there's still three wide down this straight. This is absolutely mega. Timmy does emerge ahead of Kevin. And Ericsson slots into third place with Shushu in uh, fourth. And then Tommy Hagen is down in fifth at the start of his first lap. Yeah, Kevin Hansen was, uh, was wise to Kevin Erickson's uh, move there, wasn't he? Just ran him out wide and uh, allowed him to not manage to get the nose in front of him. So smart move by Kevin. I'm sure that was probably in the plan between him and Timmy. We know that they like to, to plan things out. So that was probably on their agenda. And we'll push Kevin out wide. He can't go around the outside and the pair of us will go on the inside. Here's Tommy on the inside of Shushu for fourth place there. Nice move there from the fin. He needs this, of course. He needs the points. He needs a good time as well to keep himself, of course, in with a good spot for this semi-final. It all is to play for here in Titans RX. And it could be absolutely crucial in the outcome after round 11. and very unpredictable as things stand. You can still see, though, the top three of Timmy, Kevin and uh, Kevin Erickson in third positions have a bit of a gap there over Shushu and Toppy. Yeah, of course, though, Toppy and uh, Shushu are fighting on the last laps. Kevin Hansen looks to run a little bit wide there. That's allowed uh, Kevin Erickson to close the gap a tiny bit, but there's just not enough. Of a, there's not enough. He's not close enough to try and mount a lunge on him. Yeah, you can see they're down in towards turn number two. Just uh, Timmy. Season and uh, well, this is exactly what he likes to do having a bit of clear track in front of him just to set the pace, keep the pace, and try and bridge a bit of a gap to stop any immediate threat from behind in the form of Kevin Hansen and Kevin Erickson. You can see though, Tommy Haken has really got that car dialed in here in Q3 and is looking pretty comfortable. He's closing up onto the back of Kevin Erickson in P3. We're on the penultimate lap here, and now we've got a potential four way scrap for this lead, but definitely a scrap going off the third position before too long between Tommy and Kevin Erickson. Here. Yeah, so uh, Toppy having uh, got clear of Juju, who's got that free track in front of him, and of course, go up to the back of Erickson. He's all over the back of him now, actually. So he's uh, looking the faster of the two drivers, but he still has to try and find a way past. As he oh, nearly rubs the wall there on the outside of the rear wheel, couldn't quite get the rotation on the car early enough. So that would have uh, cost him a little bit, but again, it's still close enough to mount an attack. Final lap time here, then into turn one. Kevin Erickson in third position. Tommy Haken and just trying to find his way past out of the first corner. That's one of the prime overtaking spots here at this Essering circuit. They're so far and few between, especially in the back section. So it's going to have to be something absolutely magical from Tommy to get it to the head here. Timmy and Kevin Hansen are doing absolutely brilliant at the moment to just command this race, lead the way very nicely and not come to any immediate threat from behind over the line. Timmy Hansen takes victory, a clean sweep in the qualifying sessions for Timmy. Kevin Hansen in second and Kevin Erickson does just hold on to third position ahead of Toppy Haken and Shushu comes away down in fifth position, 4.7 seconds adrift from the rest of the field. Talk us through your Q1 and Q2 and Q3 today. No, it had been a mixed uh, qualifying for me. Uh, the, the start was really good. Unfortunately, the track was getting a bit better and uh, times were so much quicker for the other group, but uh, that's the life. And uh, now I've been struggling a bit with the starts. I cannot get out from the line quick enough. And uh, that's why it's, I need to be in a queue and uh, it's always taking the time and it's hard to fight the back. Um, we've got double points, um, we've got a huge fight, um, obviously, going through to the semi-finals, finals. finals. Um, what are you mentally um, preparing yourself as? And for this circuit, it's close. Yeah, it's a pretty close, and uh, but all the points coming from the final, so, yeah, we still have something in the pocket, but we can let show later on, but, uh, yeah, it's going to be tricky, being, and it, for sure it's not, it's not so easy. Uh, so everybody are so tight, and, uh, yeah, but this makes it so much fun.